on this computer. We are recording. We are. Good morning, Matt. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> so, would you like to tell me why you've called this very special meeting? <laughs> At this very <laughs> reasonable hour of the mm. uh, day. Um, yes, because I thought that the thing you really want to do before you go to sleep is to spend like, I don't know, we always say like 30 minutes, but it never ends up like that, um, discussing the way the the gorometer and the various measurements that we uh, might want to use to calibrate such a device that doesn't exist as of yet yes yes so I, yeah that that, like, that that was explained with my usual you know incredible clarity but <laughs> yeah. I, I think i pitched it to you as calibrating the gorometer so i calibrating have to the in all those terms yeah yeah sometimes i think you're gaslighting me with your explanations like <laughs> like all the words make sense but it's like is that was this both you know you you haven't seen my academic presentations i'm like just <laughs> gaslighting the entire audience all the time <laughs> they're like was i meant to understand that um yeah okay so okay well okay first question for you um it, for what you said it's kind of I get the feeling that you're thinking it's going to be like multi-dimensional with different, different, different things. No, 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 no. no. Okay, I, I, because I well, so this is this is you know the useful chat. And by the way, cheers, Matt. Cheers, <laughs> cheers, cheers, so, cheers. Clink. Mm, <laughs> mm -mm. The so like the the way I see it, there's a ton of ways that we could go, but if we wanted to be serious about it, we would have to, you know. Do a whole bunch of stuff that i don't want to do so like i want to keep it relatively light and not make it a chore and then for that i think the easiest thing is that it's unidimensional that all of the scores are pointing in the same direction and that we basically you and i can just independently t score the gurus each mm. episode and then at the end maybe we can discuss right and we don't have to go through each like yeah. thing just where we differ uh like significantly might be interesting and but what i so one of the things i thought about that as well and by the way if any of this you can just you know uh disagree yeah, with just my idea <laughs> yeah. yes go ahead <laughs> yeah. nothing is set in stone is that uh so like we talked about on the contrapoints episode there's an issue about whether scoring high on it is a bad thing or mm. a neutral thing right and mm. I, because like i like we said we're not saying in the episode that we don't want to say that being a guru is necessarily bad but if yeah. we meet the gurometer such that a high score in it is makes you a bad guru then that mm. implies so but i kind of think that's the easier way to do it because things like galaxy brand takes right if, if mm. we make a, a score for that or we make a score for uh, like profiteering, grifting, like these, these will all lead to uh, like high scores, high negative scores. And I don't really see a way to do it where we uh, have like positive and negative attributes equally leading to a score because that wouldn't really make sense. Yeah, but I'm confused because you said before that you just wanted to have like one one score hmm. it'd be really simple but you sort of hint to get there being different things oh, like yeah but grifted, i mean grifted. so i when like i thought you were talking about the like factors in it and i'm thinking of a like a, a score of some on like between five to ten whatever is a reasonable amount of like things for us to decide are important and then the total adds up to a round number Right, but they all just add up collectively. So uh, if you get five, 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 then you know the so the the kind of yeah, they that they there's an there's a top score that you can get, and that would make you like a very that might make you like Scott Adams or uh yeah, yeah that's mm. but I'm yeah, so what do you think? Hmm. 
Oh. Don't put your psychometrician uh, uh, hat on, put, put, because no. the yeah, the we don't want to oh, make no. it work. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. No, um. So I guess my concern is. Okay. No, I guess that's all right. Hmm. See, the problem with it being like a, like, I'm sure we can come up with five or however many things, interesting things to, you know, like, to what degree do they, are they giving you sort of rules for life and, you know, yeah. or, or like, um, but it's kind of hard to choose because there's, there's a bunch of them. Like I'm thinking about document now and there's a, there's a lot of them and I don't think we want to do all of them. Like in some ways, like for the point of view of that sort of research paper type stuff that you were thinking of, I think, I think it's more, it's probably more pragmatic to just go for a kind of a coding thing where it's like present or not present sort of thing. Is this, does this person do this kind of thing or not? You know, it's you, you know and your saying? binary measures. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> you know, no, no, no. I'm thinking quality, you know, I'm coming to the, I'm coming to, I'm embracing qualitative coding here. Oh. Um, but, yeah, uh, but the, uh, qualitative binary. <laughs> that's that's what essentially that's what in my, to my mind that's what qualitative is. It's basically just binary uh -oh. things, you know. How, it's like how you dare know, you, Matt? How dare you? That's the yeah. The... It's, that's what it is. It's like you know, is uh, is a Chris a member of the IRA or isn't he? It's binary. There's scored. shades of grey, Matt. The shades of grey in that question. Is there? Is there? <laughs> you could be an affiliate, a friend, uh, uh, like a <laughs> have your provisional membership. Anyway. Professional IRA. Mm. Oh yeah, professional IRA. <laughs> so, okay. So the, yeah, well, I had the mm. same thought that like if we if we tried to do it properly, it would be like a long thing. I like would imagine at least kind of ten, but that would might be a pain. Though it might not be if it's just a matter of you know like one to fiveing people on like ten metrics. That like doesn't take that much. Time. The idea, but, but what I like is I like I like the sound of, and again, yeah, just just hear me out and see whether, whether this might work. But like, imagine like you could have ten, or and we could even add to it, you know, and, as we wanted to. But it's just kind of like a like a tick and flick thing. Like, did do they do this kind of thing or don't they? Right. But then what? But I, I, essentially, what I don't want to do is I don't really want to add them up because. Mm -hmm. Because it's kind of quality. It is kind of qualitative. Like, like they don't necessarily add up to make you a guru. You know, like I think, I think in the end we, like I, I think we, I think we'd be better off just giving people a, a like a score just on our gut instinct of how how bad or good that person is. You know, that's what I'd like mm. to do. So I, I'll, I, I can see the logic to what you're saying, but the my thought is. It depends on what the factors are you pick, right? Because like, for example, if we had the like uh, amount diversity of subjects tackled or something, right? Like the kind of the thing that I would consider like galaxy brain, right? Hot takes on lots of different subjects or are you a specialist in one thing? And that's what you mainly talk about. So yeah. if we if we took like the diverse coverage as a high score like say a five right a one to five scale mm. then you had you know monetization and like level of profiteering or from you know are you selling uh supplements and that kind of thing and like one to five right again so you've got that and then you have uh like Okay, I'm I'm not saying we include these ones, but I'm just uh, like level of self-aggrandizement, right? Like one to five, or level of conspiracy mongering, one to five, so on. And my, if you had those kind of measures, right, and you had like five, 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 and you had somebody that was like Eric Weinstein or something like that, I think mm -hmm. they would score high, whereas someone like ContraPoints would score. Low, low on those yeah. measures and it would and that to me would capture something meaningful but i can also say that like it makes sense to have a, like a tick box like do they sell supplements yes no right because like i think that's an interesting thing just to know like how many of them 
sell supplements because I think in a qualitative way, like if someone is shilling uh, herbal supplements or brain brain enhancers, it actually is a kind of very straightforward acid test for their level of like, I don't know, the responsibility or something like because all of the people that we know that are that we've covered that are shilling supplements are are like the least the lesser responsible more gurutastic people so mm. yeah. so yeah i don't know the, the, that's my thought is that it could be funny on the podcast or it could be you know interesting to have a thing where we have a guru who hits the top score right or uh, and somebody who gets a low score like that might be interesting I guess your version though doesn't prevent that from happening, but it makes it more uh, gestalt mm. view. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would. So, I mean, what's the goal here? I mean, if the goal's to generate material for use in a paper, then we're going to need more, like the two of us um, giving ratings. Isn't going to that- help. See, isn't that easy? Because if we have the our ratings, right? Like we have an Excel document that has our ratings, and it's so easy to source a, additional readers, like at a later date, right? You just ask, you just hire people, or you you know they get RAs or whatever. So our proof of concept uh, thing could just be it doesn't even like if we actually made a paper or something out of it it wouldn't necessarily require our our readings could just mainly be for entertainment and our own like I'm, I'm quite curious to see if you and I agree independently like when we're doing things or if we you know you end up saying somebody is like a complete crypto and I'm like no this guy's you it's know, fine. Monot- yeah what's the problem like, I, yeah. I'm, where would you, on the scale of one to five, where would you put Jordan Peterson on a, like, grifting monetization scale? Oh. Where oh, five being, like, monetize everything, sell his, like, spit in a bag. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if anyone's doing that. But... Uh, that's, actually, that's a, here's a tricky one, actually, because... Um... Um, because I, I think, I think you have to know about his background and his trajectory, you know, Mm. like at first I somewhat naively thought he, he had notoriety thrust upon him. Mm. Yeah. Um, and, um, but then, you know, then, you know, I think there's, I think, I think there's probably evidence that he kind of sorted out for that so um so but but even that de- it depends on a bit of hypothesizing or a bit of mind reading you know what i mean like you're making a few assumptions yes. but you you you'd probably yeah so you probably know more context but just on the basis of those see that's a hard one because i mean okay so here's the thing like Look, we've been you, this, is, this is opening academic. a can of worms you're an academic. Yeah, this is opening a can of worms <laughs> well, because because i i can answer that question but I could answer it based on the content we heard. Yeah. Mm. Which is, which is, that's the approach we've taken, you know, sure. We did a bit of other reading, whatever, but essentially we're judging and I feel really comfortable with that. But um, because my knowledge of the rest is very fa- fuzzy, you know, mm. I have a sense and so on. So, I'm, um, but based on the content we heard, um, like that's probably not true of any of them because you don't necessarily, like they don't off they may not spruik their Patreon or their, you know, mm, their thing mm. in that particular thing. So that's actually, so that's an example of, so th- these, this is a good one. This is an example of how it can because create you don't problems. Have, yeah. Well, so it would cause, I think it would cause problems if we were trying to like do, uh, we were trying to argue for an authoritative coding. But if we were saying, this is my impression. And then I said, so like based on your impression, even if it's just from the episode and you don't know anything else, where would you put Jordan Peterson if I forced you to put a number? 
as a, as, as a grifter, as someone who's mm. trying to make money out of um, low, like maybe maybe one or two. Mm. So yeah, see, I wouldn't go that much higher, but like as you say, because of all her knowledge, like I know he monetizes a personality um, <laughs> test, right? The like based on the Big Five, and I know that he put his name to a business school course, uh, which was like apparently right. he designed the syllabus and stuff off but it, you know yeah. it was basically just rebranding a, a business school course yeah. and like i and i don't know a bunch of other things but people have suggested to me that like he he did a lot of weird advocacy for fossil fuels industry yeah. or, or something apparently i don't know like i don't know if that's true but it's mm. kind of in the my background knowledge so for me it would push him up to like a three or a four because he could monetize much more, right? He could be doing, yeah. selling like Jordan Peterson branded hot pants yeah. or uh, but that's, like that's, but lobster I, sauce. Uh, but I'm very uncomfortable with the whole grifting category or rating category because I mean, like take take the Obamas, yeah? Are, are they you know are they grifters? You know? Uh, well, yeah. So I like I I agree. I think this is why it would be a good thing to. Uh, to discuss like what's important to include because I kind of think monetizing your content is man when you blew out there like the smoke has all stayed around the camera <laughs> you look like the guy from the X Files but the uh, chuck and clouds that's the technical term for it chuck and clouds it, that's yeah. it well monetizing your content is something that like people judge very harshly on the opposing ideological side but they don't really they don't do the same when it comes to like people they agree with right and yeah. and there's a double standard there which i i recognize as well but but on the other hand i do think there's something within the sphere of gurus about people branding themselves and then using that to like jp sears for example is a really good example because his content is super heavily branded with these like supplements, right? Which he, which mm. also tie in to his kind of like the whole package that he's offering. And like you talked about in the episode, he's very much aware that he's building a brand, right? That he wants to market and which he uses the money. And so I think that in the case of JP Sears, I put him like really high and when I think of like someone like Douglas Murray, for example, I don't get that same impression, right? I get a journalist who, yes, cashes in on things and, you know, sells books and so on. But I don't really imagine Douglas Murray shilling supplements or that kind of thing. It's So to me, that takes him down a little bit from that world, whereas like, and a last example of someone in the middle is kind of Eric Weinstein, right? Because he, from his background, it almost seems like he doesn't need to shill supplements and stuff. And yet he does with aplomb. And like, you know, he records his own playing his ukulele yeah. like stuff for, and I'm waxing lyrical about mushroom, uh, like the pills or whatever, mushroom soup. So, yeah so he, does he actually sell supplements does he oh yeah his podcast is not only does he sell supplements he you know like all podcasters are well, not all podcasters but they they're asked to kind of personalize their ad reads like they give these little yeah. stories about them yeah. using the products or whatever eric is like so so far into that that he records his own like songs to promote like his own ditties uh, or to and like the i think he said on a couple of ads that the company was like saying they don't want them to do that or they didn't ask <laughs> him to do it but but you know it's yeah and that and then there was an episode where he mentioned that by not putting out content he was taking a significant hit on his finances um and i was i was kind of like taking 
aback because I was thinking, I thought this was just like a side hustle, you know, like he has a job with Peter Thiel and stuff. Why, why would he be using this as like a, you know, a strong source of income? That's the way he presented it in that episode. But yeah, so anyway, that's, you know, insider guru baseball, but it made me think that there's, we, we just see a lot of people shilling uh, like, you know, supplements and herbal pills and brain force and like Joe Rogan does it. Alex Jones does it. JP Sears does it. Like mm. there definitely seems to be something about the at least willingness to sell shill supplements. Um, mm-hmm. But that, that kind of fits your thing about, you know, tick box. Yes, no. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they either do or they don't really. With that one with with the supplements mm. um and you know like with respect to monetization and stuff yeah it's just i guess i can imagine there are i mean a lot of the time gurus are doing this to in the, in the long game a bit like google or whatever would be providing a search engine with and losing money on it like a lot of these oh, com- yeah. companies you know for a long time because really what they're about is building up the brand and they're going to cash in at some later date so it's a, it's a tricky one, that one. But it is like, because, prob- you know, people would say like Jesse Single, for example, uh, somebody that probably we wouldn't class, you know, within the, the guru realm. Mm. Like, is is he grifting? Because he has like the super successful podcast, like he built up an audience and then he monetized it, right? And yep. like, that, that to me doesn't seem illegitimate at all. But there are people within the, within the guru sphere who have done the exact same thing. Yeah, up an yeah. audience and then cash so, in. So that's why I have a problem with the grifting thing. Like I, I get it, but it's just very hard to define what's just normal monetization of someone who makes their living from doing it. Yeah. Not, you know, like it's contrapoint stuff. grifting because like I mean, I, I would put her very low on that because she doesn't seem to sell anything. But obviously, you know, the money comes from the YouTube videos and the like yeah. that stuff. So Mm. yeah yeah that's a tough one but yeah that's probably the hardest one in a way like i guess there i guess i'm okay i'm like i'll i go along with your idea uh we can, put, right. we can you give so them sad. Sad yeah. <laughs> no, you know the idea of giving scores to the different to the different well um, you know the, like the, the way I'm this is how I often end up in academic meetings when we decide on, you know, something or somebody gives in a thing is like, why don't we, why don't we try it? And if it's like, if it doesn't work, then we just switch. Like there's nobody holding our feet to the fire saying like, oh, but you said you would do it this way, right? Like we can, we can play around so we can even say like, hey, we're doing A-B testing, right? Like uh, the the binary model and the, the, like one to five <laughs> yes 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 we don't call him chris versus matt <laughs> <laughs> no. no 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 okay so um i looking at that document of ours i think i think it's a pretty good basis for for our list of um features right uh, do, do we want to decide i'm making a little i'm making a little document here which okay. i will share with you yes, i will be okay. the secretary at for the secretary the, okay good yeah, i'll be the ideas i'll be the ideas man yeah, just for what i can like, just yeah, just, just, you know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um just don't I, worry about it go crazy go crazy <laughs> <laughs> this is a safe space for any, anything 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 um, for, no. for it all for it all <laughs> <laughs> okay let's write the one how good looking hot or not yeah, how about that hot or not why yeah, not let's yeah, put that yeah, chili, let's chili. Do that. <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah that's, love, okay that, that actually you know that makes me feel uh, amused because uh, you know there used to be this prof- like read my professor website mm, or, like i think yeah. it still exists but they had a they had a like hot or not <laughs> thing on it and i think they eventually were forced to remove it like because yeah. i think because of people pro, you know kind of socially justicey people taking issue i don't mean this in a disparaging way i mean like i think there was a campaign to say this isn't a, a good metric to use uh, but i mm. kind of was like oh because you know i used to find it and like i'm not i'm not on it you know i'm not a 
professor in the US, but I did used to find it funny to look up people I know and be like, are they hot? Are they rated hot by students? Yeah, and the, the, the students think they're hot. Yeah, yeah. yeah I know. It's, it's, you know. He's hot. Why is he not? Got a, like thing, but like the bar to be rated hot seemed to be very low as well. So maybe yeah, well, if you didn't get it, it was just really <laughs> insulting. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Okay, so item number one. First, mm -hmm. first thing. Um, I'm, I'm just going to work through this list, and we're going to prune it down. But should, um, first one is this guru polymath type thing, where they present themselves as, yeah, special genius with unique insights across a wide range of fields, wide, wide like range that. of areas. That's that's a key. That's a key guru, guru esque. We need a thing like a catchy phrase for it, but we can come up with those like later. But especially because, like, polymath sounds too <laughs> sounds too nice for what it is. Like, it's it's kind of being a hot take machine across disciplines yeah. you have no expertise in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. We we need funny. We need amusing and memorable. This uh, this one is too labels. disparaging, but like I can think of you know Walter Mitty since <laughs> the, 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 the you know Walter Mitty right that is yes. a famous story okay that's all right yeah. that, that, your reaction tells me that's not a good <laughs> one that's, no no no, so, no. Yeah. But, um Galaxy Brain isn't it like Galaxy Brain this yeah it is Galaxy Brainness isn't it. Yeah, I think it is basically galaxy brainness. Yeah, it's the because if, if you don't do that, you're not a galaxy brain guru. You're just you're a yeah, guru. You yeah, can be a guru, yeah. but you cannot be a galaxy brain guru. Yeah, you know? like if you're if you're someone like so, if he's just like has expertise and is smart, but in a particular area, I don't know. Like say Stuart Ritchie, say he's he 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 put posts very smart stuff, but it's like within his realm of expertise. expertise. Yeah, he does. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't sort of just. You know, oh, you know, what's really going on with COVID is this. Oh, you know, fuck that. Just yeah. well, who are you talking that. about, Matt? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just what use your imagination. Are you referencing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Gal I, know, I like it. Galaxy brain. That's, brain. That's, yeah. Okay. Let's lock that in. Lock that in. Lock. Put it in the bank. I put, I put it down in this high tech document. It's, mm. it's locked in. Can't be edited now, Matt. That's, that's no. how it works. No. Um. Mm. Mm. Okay, so the next one on this list is this that in group out group thing, which is about how they oh, sort of yeah. I like, but I think that's important. Mm. No, no, I do too, and and I think we could call it um, cultishness. That's a that's a harsh one, but yeah, well, <laughs> like yeah, yeah, I like yeah. I. They, it, by the way, can you say the word that means when? you are very polis polemically like when you have two sides and people are you know very harsh about one side but not the other side what do you call that <laughs> there's a terrible way to get you to try to say a word i want to hear you say without me pronouncing it oh uh, okay it might like, be in the current era p ship is oh, very oh, high. Uh, not polarization no partisanship oh, partisanship okay. yeah that's it no you didn't okay. do that because it did you on the most recent episode you said pa like partisan in a very specific way and i wondered if it was like just you know because like in the episode i also say sometimes pronunciations that are like wrong but you <laughs> you said partisan in a like like partisan oh, 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 i said partisan as a, yeah as a, <laughs> yeah I, I remember that i remember that <laughs> so no was that like, was does matt say partisan no shit? that's not that's not how i normally talk no <laughs> I, <laughs> partisan. I, 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 it's I like it's like, like it's like artisan it's like that, that. <laughs> when when you said it i it made me you know when somebody pronounces somebody and it makes you think have i been saying that wrong <laughs> saying that wrong the whole time no <laughs> because <laughs> that happens to me with there's oh fuck i forget about it isn't it? but there's a word that people use all the time and i've seen it on bbc and i think the pronunciation has just shifted but it hasn't for me and like i can't remember what it is now but it's a word that you would use as well and I, like 
I don't know where the memo was that the proper pronunciation shifted, but I didn't get it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I thought like I thought this was a similar situation. So after I heard it, it was like, haha, Mark got that wrong. And then, or did oh, he? Did he? <laughs> yeah, I could just be ahead of the game. I could have kicked off something. You know, it could be the beginning of a new a new trend. Cultish, um, cultishness, cultishness, cultishness. I think I'm okay with that because I, I like it. It captures the um, the behavior. Yeah, it's the behavior of the leader, but and the way they manage their flock and and keep them keep them in line and it's 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 cultishness. Yeah. In group by group dynamics. So it's not yeah. it's not partisanship. <laughs> it could be partisan. You could say partisan if you you know he's very partisan. Partisan. Yeah. It actually now sounds right to me. Like that's the yeah. thing. Like I when I, I legitimately telling the truth that when I listened back, I was like, <laughs> you know, I mean, it's one of those <laughs> things of registering. Like I, I've I've done it many times in episodes as well. By the way, where like I have either cut words out that were necessary for the sentence that are just not there, and like I don't know if I edited them out or I didn't say them um but yeah it's it's always surprising to me to listen back and find do they not know how to pronounce that word because <laughs> yeah <laughs> and, and usually you or me kindly cut out the like you know searching for how to pronounce a word but uh yeah anyway i'm sorry for making it silly but uh cultishness the the reason i'm hesitant with cultishness is because it implies a bunch of other things as well like it kind of imply primarily it implies that you're setting up a cult <laughs> like or that's the implication it would give to me right like is scott adams cult he is high on like uh this but is he setting up uh, a cult or is he just like an insane partisan well look i mean look the thing with coming up with any single word to describe these themes is that it's always going to be inadequate right it's almost always so it, 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 look just try to think of a better one and if you can't no i then... like i get cultishness i like so i think you know with any of these we can put like a little description after it yeah so we can we can explain what we mean by it so we'll, like we'll define our terms yeah we'll yeah, define we our terms. okay yeah. so we'll for yeah. them yeah at least we don't mean um, literally they're gonna do a james town type <laughs> scenario it's 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 meant to be evocative we'll put a little star and say we're not saying they're going to do an <laughs> ocean video on the the yeah no, no. We say, we'll cover ourselves. That 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 does it, right? Like I've seen people give disclaimers that work much like much yeah. less disclaimers than they seem to work. So, yep, yeah. yep, yep. These okay. are meant to be um, evocative. True. Um, cultishness. Like, in, cultishness. Oh, right. Got it. It's locked in. Yeah. Can't be edited. Okay. Sorry, Matt. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, gee, there's so many good ones. Um, so the next one is grievance and resentment. Oh, towards, that's that is a good one. Yeah, towards the orthodoxies, towards the institutions, conventional. Um, yeah, I want and I want to use grievance because of the uh, so-called squared people. Like I, yeah. I feel it's I feel it's honoring their legacy to. Uh, <laughs> to <laughs> that's that's where to put it. <laughs> yeah, to call it like grievance mongering. Mm, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna look at our list of our cast and just think about that a little bit. Green, Green, yeah, because we, we were very insightful at, like uh, a couple of months ago, like before we yeah. started looking at anyone. This is yeah, that's it's quite the, astonishing, really. It's yeah. uh, you know past us. Good job because that's that's a defining characteristic of like almost all the people we've covered, right? Is how much they resent their status their position not treated as the kind of go-to like in most cases it almost seems like they're upset that the government doesn't come and ask them like what the strategy should be to deal with covid yeah. or immigration or yeah because like, I'm, I'm right here you know i've got all these great ideas and i'm right here and no one's consulting yeah. me don't they know who i am um and look mm. it's it's strongly related i to wrote the, the dilbert 
comic. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's right. But you know, it's strongly related. Am I? Related. Expert, am I? Well, yeah, well, you you yeah. could be. I kind of am. Look, um, oh, look. You said that exactly <laughs> that, like him. Oh, I know. Um, but look, that's strongly related, obviously, to the narcissism thing, which you before have pointed out is actually the key defining feature. Yeah. Grievance. I mean, we, we narciss- have to have that. Don't we have to have narcissism like self? Well, yeah. Well, yeah. We just, we might, we may, but we might need to consider whether we combine it with the grievance because it's almost a. It yeah, is like a the, package deal, like but I feel you it's can. It's kind have of a them, package deal. I feel you can have them separate. Like you could be an absolute narcissistic arsehole and yet not have a grievance narrative. Yeah, mm. I, I see your point. I guess you're right. They're they're definitely like heavily correlated, but I I don't think they're intrinsically correlated. Like, does Taleb have a? I mean, he thinks everyone else is an idiot and but does yeah he... i thought of taylor i thought of taylor too because he's kind of a bit of an exception um yeah he's like right. high on he's narcissism extra... but is he like is he complaining like his his grievance is just like the everyone else is not him the idiot yeah <laughs> <laughs> his grievance is everyone else is, are idiots that are, are wasting his time that's that's his grievance so yeah. but that's not that's that's a pretty weak grievance narrative um Look, it generally does go with narcissism, though. I mean, you know, like, you know, you know, but Trump that's okay. and, I, and, and but even, I, even Hitler. He, you know, they say every Hitler. conversation, even yeah, Hitler. But, yeah, I mean, it, it's it was really he a narcissist? Is. I mean, I don't know enough about him. I would imagine that he certainly had a high self-image, like, and he definitely, like, I would score him high on grievances. <laughs> yeah, on he had yes. a couple of those. He had, but, he had a few. Um, yeah. It seems, I mean, like, I guess anybody that's like the leader of a, uh, you know, fascistic movement uh, and sets themselves up as the supreme leader probably has to have an element of narcissism. <laughs> yes. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Um, okay, well. I we like, but it. I like keep... keeping them s- separate because I could imagine, like, yeah, Imagine okay. We, that- yeah, no, I think you're right. We'll keep them separate. Like Russell Brand, for instance, is is pretty narcissistic, but he doesn't have. He doesn't really have grievance. Like he doesn't like the system, but it's much more his narcissism. Like it, I, he complains about this. I mean, they all complain about the system. That's the thing. But, but I think their level of grievance is different like i would not put russell brand at the same level of grievance as eric weinstein yeah. like eric weinstein yeah. is yeah it's like so i i I, th- I think you're right keep it separate because the grievance thing is very much a personal narrative you know it's the, mm. they have been wronged they've been wronged by these, and, and by uh, extension society <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> uh okay all right um okay who are we Okay, so I've got galaxy okay, green, so, cultishness, grievance, and narcissism. Or, yeah, so narcissism is going to be a separate. Yep. Yeah, so yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, mm, okay. So I'm wondering. The next one we've got here is personal claims to revolutionary world-altering theories, but I'm wondering whether that might go into the with the guru galaxy brain. The, the galaxy brainness. Yeah, it kind of does, right? Because like. But well, could we finesse it into like has a utopian, uh, like utopian vision? Is there anyone we've covered that doesn't have a utopian vision? <laughs> hmm. Well, I mean, um, we, we, obvi- we, obviously, contrapoints. She, she's the one that stands out every time. But even like even her, I think if you go deep enough into her material you mm. will approach well yeah like a utopian-esque um view of what the future is and it's like it's luxury space communism right it, it's it's the end mm. of capitalist monopolies and uh i don't know that's just like, that's just common sense chris that's just well, <laughs> clear thinking <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, by the way, I have to. I'm, I wanted to spring this on you in the next episode, but I I can't resist. We one of the reviews we got just said, uh, like, 
have Liam Bright on, you cowards. <laughs> <laughs> Five stars, though. That's okay. great. I like that. That's really good. So was it posted by Liam? or It didn't seem you... to be, unless Liam has created, you know, uh, like the username <laughs> was uh, bizarre. And by the way, the guy that wrote I wouldn't really... Put it past, I would not put it past him. The person um, who wrote the genuinely the like the negative review that I want to surprise you with, so I won't like it's it's so negative. But uh, the the username was I cough in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and the thing is, I'm pretty sure they didn't make that account, you know, just to write because it's Apple, right? You have to uh, like have that account that that's your username. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of like, yeah. Oh, I, well, what a character. Yeah, oh, that's gonna that's gonna be good. That's gonna be fun. It is. Too. They were very, yeah. they are very genuinely upset at us, and and they detail in in exquisite detail what we get wrong. It's oh, uh, yeah, oh, it's good, enjoyable. Good. Oh dear. Okay, where were we? Oh, utopianism. Um, are well, we? Are no. Hmm. I'm looking at our list. I mean, someone like J.P. Sears. I mean, he doesn't it, have a utopian I mean, vision, and right? and Jordan Peterson doesn't really either. Like Jordan Peterson is just like, well, this is life. You've got to get used to it. It's always it's always been like this. You but know. That, so that to me, kind of that's okay because he's not necessarily like I think people. He scores high in some areas, but doesn't have like a super utopian vision. James like, Lindsay I, doesn't have a utopian vision. I, you know, now you say that it's kind of giving me the opposite thing that maybe it's a dystopian uh, <laughs> vision, which is the the like the because the crucial thing is to view the world as on the precipice of disaster, and that's why the okay. guru is necessary, right? Like James Lindsay is warning of the impending doom. Scott Adams oh. is, is oh. telling people about the danger and like the, oh well you know if if we decide to include it you could call it the cassandra cassandra complex i, I don't get this reference <laughs> <laughs> this is hard so you like, this, this, is like, this is like the little indians and the big indians all over yeah again. which which i will note that many people seem to have been like including philosophers were like what the hell's not smoking what the hell? <laughs> yeah. yeah it's did you google it it's a thing I didn't it just is, make it up. I've seen you shared your peer for several times. So. <laughs> but but I, I, but I so uh, yeah, I Cassandra. Well, who's Cassandra? Like, why have I not got this knowledge in my head? Is, is she it's some mythical like figure who yeah. said the sky was yeah. falling or something like that? Yeah, it's a mythical figure. So she was cursed by the gods to. I don't remember the details, um, but <laughs> look at that. Uh, look yeah, at that. Yeah, Your yeah, hubris okay. has. Hang on, has just let me you. just let me quickly Google that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'll have I have the right there for you. No, no, she she was cursed. She, she couldn't speak or something like that. Was unable to warn people, but or maybe she was able to warn people or something. But she she's she's the one who's. who's this is like who, I'll give you a better, the, a deeper, more like intellectually uh, advanced reference, Matt. She's mm. like the guy from, isn't it Crow? Where the Cyclops could this is a Cyclops, by the way, it's a me miming a Cyclops. Um yeah. they they could see the future, but the only thing they could see was their own death. Oh god. That's an okay, but that's that's, that's from that's I'm very... not saying call it the I'm not saying no, call no. it the the crow. I, I agree. The Cassandra complex. Can, look, can I just read this out to you? Yeah. It's a psychological I mean, the, it's a psychological phenomenon in which an individual's accurate prediction of a crisis is ignored or dismissed. So that that reminds me what she was cursed. She was cursed to be able to see the future, be able to see what was going to happen. Like but no one, but no, like the Cyclops, but no one, but no <laughs> one would believe that one. That's, but, but 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 the curse was is that no one would believe her. You know what I mean? She she could she could see what's happening, but no one was. Would I like it. It's her. perfect. It and the fact that I'm completely unaware of the reference there's like a black hole in my mind i i kind of enjoy that as well so like why don't we call yeah. it the cassandra complex yeah okay or, that sounds you good know. to me all right yep. i've put yep. it down yeah so, because it it's so it's a little bit different i want to distinguish it from the utopian vision uh well you know it could be you know you can it still work for the utopian thing because you could oh are you thinking about having both of them 
Um, no, I, I think we cut the yeah. utopian oh. one because, like you say, it's it, like it isn't an, a criteria, and actually, it's often more the warning. I think that's the more common thing: the utopian warning, yeah. vision for the future. Even, even like, and usually, if you take a cult leader or you know, like a genuine guru, any utopian vision comes with a dystopian warning. Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah, so yeah. you can't like, have... like if like if like if you're a Scientologist, say right, you know, it's yes, you got a utopian vision, but the the really the real point is is that you know the the world is just doomed unless we make this happen. So yeah, yeah, and um, I, and it's different. I just want it, to like distinguish it from the guru. What was what was the number first one? What, what did we call it? galaxy brainedness yeah because it's not just having bright ideas it's about it's about how the the world actually is doomed unless unless we you know you take me seriously yeah okay you've made me think of something you know we have our tears like the i mean i think you're going to get to this so i might be like jumping ahead but we have conspiracy <laughs> hypothesizer uh, mm. revolutionary thinker and galaxy brain guru and the, mm. like we didn't pull them out of nowhere although like that you know we were making them mostly for fun but those make me think about that those three things we've already got galaxy brain covered and we were kind of talking like do we need revolutionary thinker but i now thinking like just on the basis of those titles i think conspiracy theorizing we're going to get to which definitely has to be a a separate component but revolutionary thinker at least on the notion of you have a revolutionary theory seems a an important criteria that mm -hmm. isn't the same as galaxy brain because galaxy brain can be that you have multiple takes on multiple subjects but do you have your bespoke nobel prize winning idea that you know deserves that has been suppressed by the system. That seems like a separate category. Because mm. like say like let's say on the YouTube gurus like Sargon of a cat, right? He probably would score high on Galaxy Brain this. But does he have a revolutionary theory that will you know revise maths or allow people to get to the stars? Like no, right? But Brett and Eric do, and. Yeah. Uh, and like other other people, I, I would say like James Lindsay, also has a single theory that you know can can explain mm -hmm. everything in the world. Um, so that seems like a metric we might want, yeah. even though we kind yeah. of scratched it off earlier. Yeah, I guess so. So um, so revolutionary thinker. Is it Nobel, Nobel worthy? Nobel, no. I, um, hmm. um, you know, I'm bad with the names, Matt. Yeah, no, no. I, um, world shaking, hmm. revolutionary ideas, revolutionary ideas, revolutionary theory. I mean, it's it's kind of the same. We're getting at the same thing as what we just talked about with the. We sort of shifted to the Cassandra thing, which is the mm. warning. But it's 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 that's the that's the same thing in a way. You know what I mean? That's kind of warning that this thing is desperately needed. You know, like but what, like, but couldn't mm. you have that? Like to, to say, take take Sargon off a card or someone. I'm sure he has the Cassandra complex thing. I'm sure he's warning about society collapsing. Jordan Peterson is. But does Jordan Peterson have a revolutionary theory about how to fix things? I guess not. Yeah. He has 12 rules for life. Yeah, but it's... <laughs> like yes. a, well, it's, it's, well, it's kind of a theory, isn't it? And does it? J.P. Sears? No. J.P. Sears, definitely not. He doesn't does offer Adams? anything. No, um, no, no. He's... Okay. Like, he's, he's just he, he's just a pit of negativity he doesn't have anything <laughs> he, he, he has those books like I, you know losers speak and or like, oh, yeah. God, i don't even it, it makes me physically cringe to think about him but yeah. they, loser think yeah but you know they're very similar to jordan peterson's books aren't they where they're it's a it's it's a personal recipe to help you navigate 
this corrupt world. Mm. It's not. It's not a. It's not a plan to make the world a better place. Yeah, whereas like Rutger Bregman would score high, right? On that, yeah. because he does have a uh, like. So maybe this is tapping into in a better way the utopian vision thing, because like a revolutionary theory usually implies yeah. some ut utopian thing, but it doesn't have to, right? Like the Brett Weinstein's belief that he discovered a fundamental flaw in like it, that doesn't lead to a utopian future, right? Like at best, it leads to slightly better drug testing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, okay, I, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm thinking about the, okay, stick it. I'm thinking about the I, amount I, of so people that have alternative theories about evolution, for example. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's but that's that's galaxy brainedness, isn't it? But not right. necessarily, because like they could be focused just on that topic, right? There could be an intelligent design guy who just focuses on evolution. Oh right, all oh, right, right. And they have, so they do have some, you know, intelligent design thing like Michael Behe, right? Like I would put him as a guy that has a, that thinks he's a revolutionary thinker, but he doesn't have like takes on tons of, I mean, he probably does, but nobody listens to them about tons of other topics. Yeah. Well, I reckon, uh, as you said, this is not carved in stone. We should, we should get him down. Yes, yes. Move on. Sorry, so, sorry, sorry. So I reckon, yes, write it, okay. write it down. We've got it for the minute. Yep. Okay. Okay, the next one's about the style. Yeah, the pseudo profound bullshit. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that like yeah. that waxing, you know, Dan, Dan brought that up about the ability to speak in metaphors and to... He did. And and that, that struck me as like a pretty insightful point that and something that we know this that like it isn't all of them, but the people who are perhaps the most guruish have this like ability to really like just monologue yeah. in endless <laughs> metaphors. Yeah, yes. Yeah, it's astonishing, isn't it? Um yeah, so that's super important. Um so Profound. Yeah, it can be a phrase. Like this can be titled by a short phrase. Um, mm. So, pseudo profound bullshit could be fine, I think. It's accurate. It's accurate. Yeah. Pseudo profound bullshit. Yeah, I like that. Yep. Okay, yep. we got it. Okay, cool. Oh, um, mm. so the next one's a bit. Um, okay, let's, let's um, okay, the, the last two are pretty easy, but this one's a bit tricky because this one is about this, um, this courting controversy behavior. Oh, man, yeah, they were insightful humans we were once upon a time that we, were we, uh, in yeah. 2020. Um, yeah. yeah, like that feels like a binary thing, though. Like a, the you know, because I'm I'm kind of noting down the things that might be just like tick boxes that we because there's no reason that we can't have them in, right? We can't have a a mixed thing and courting like a trial by far or controversy courting seems um like a yes or no. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And it, the other tricky thing about it is it's often happening offline, like it's all happening via other channels. It's not necessarily in the content that we cover. So it's not sort of a, I can, you know what I mean? I can yeah. get also think of a text box, like, have they been cancelled? Yes or no? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It can be anything. Yeah, yeah. If it, it, Like when it comes to the tick boxes, all bets are off. You can just chuck anything in that seems fun because um, it's easy. And But I, I agree. It's kind of hard to imagine that on a like like yeah okay i'm gonna devil's advocate just a little bit um i so like if you take like james Lindsay now he's he's like courting controversy constantly right he used to be somebody that you could you know that basically if you looked at this feed you might you would just see you know stuff culture war stuff but like recently, he's 
he's gone all out to just you know insult people and to say controversial things and to talk about controversial topics and so it definitely seems that there's a change there right like and that there are people within the girl sphere who do that regularly and people who don't yeah. Oh dear, Matt. Like it, you. Yeah. I've kept you up here. <laughs> it's a quarter. It's a quarter past one. I'm doing pretty well. I'm doing you pretty are. Well. You are. I. I feel that we can fire through the last ones to let you sleep. I feel like we're almost there. Yeah. So we'll put a pin in that one. That one can be a can be a tag or something. Um, okay. You can mull it over. Last two are easy though, I think, because we already talked about them. Um, conspiracies. Endorsing okay. conspiracy, conspiracy theories, mongering. pushing conspiracy theories, conspiracy mongering. Yeah, that's that. easy. Yeah, easy. Um, and that narcissism. We've already got narcissism. Oh, do we? Yeah. So if we were to stop there, we would have it. Great. That's a good number. Yeah. Mm. And then, so like if we put them on one to five, like just that makes a score out of 40, right? Isn't that right? My maths are <laughs> It's quarter past one in the morning, so I'm not sure about anything anymore. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think yes, yes. <laughs> um, yeah, that sounds good. Out of five, yep, five stars uh, for each By one. the way, Patreon people, just look. This is the sacrifices that Matt makes for you. And also that yeah. I force Matt to make by my uh, children. Because... Yeah. To explain the context, Matt kindly weirded up while my children unhelpfully did not go to sleep until very late. So, mm. and he's an hour ahead of me. So it's mm. it's now quarter past midnight for me, but I'm okay. But mm. the, at quarter past one, I might be yeah, uh, yeah. Like, pushing it a bit more. So yeah. it's uh, like Chris. Yeah. Chris is like one. Hour, he's got one hour on me and about ten years. So. <laughs> With those two advantages. That's, that's I think right. so. Yeah. Uh, okay. But oh. they, so look, this is what that two two dollars provides. <laughs> it, it, it is I'm very sorry, Matt. I'll make this up to you somehow. <laughs> I just you know, I just want all the listeners if if we do release this. I am like available like any time. I'm super flexible. I've I've got very very few commitments. But the only time that Chris is available is it god awful times it's like it's like no. before the sun comes up in the morning or after <laughs> after midnight at I'm night like a vampire. when everyone else is sleeping that's like a vampire existence i do apologize for that but I, I i appreciate the the sacrifices you make uh on my behalf <laughs> <laughs> no very good um so uh, look i'm pretty happy with that i think we might have nailed it five Five, score out of five eight eight dimensions and you know look we might even organize our like when, when we're building up our clips and stuff like that and preparing for the episode we might even try to fit our content yeah it, it might the... i mean i think this will be helpful i like i'm gonna go back and score the previous ones according to this like yeah, I will and, you know make like a little excel document for us or google docs anyway but it yeah. doesn't matter it doesn't matter but the yeah. um uh yeah and i i think i agree that it would be helpful to because like we're doing this qualitatively anyway we're like okay this person is not like the other ones like this but it would just i think it would just help us orientate that and uh, yeah 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 and structure structure the whole thing um yeah that's good look my that's good that's I good. We... We're, we're done. <laughs> you, your brain has lasted through to now. I appreciate that a lot. And you, did, you did very well with the cocktail. You held off on it. and uh, I held off on the cocktail. And we've done it. We've done it. Look, we, we... I even think we could package, you know, we discussed this, uh, like, well, are we release this or whatever. But I actually think we could easily change this into you know like a short segment on the next episode or like a separate special episode after going through this right like just uh oh, kind yeah. of explain each of the content like when it's a reasonable hour <laughs> yeah yeah that's right when it's a reasonable hour i'll be i'll but, be you know but for look for 1 a.m your brain you know this is yeah. 
in 10 years time if I'm this on fire <laughs> it's true it's true i'm proud of myself I'm impressed. thank you i'm, I'm very I'm, impressed. I'm, I'm feeling very proud of myself well, look, no, I, no, sure. no i think this i think this could be a good episode because you know there's a lot i mean we haven't said it because we know what we're talking about here we've talked about it before but there's a lot that we could say about each one of these things i agreed you know? i agreed like mm. i yeah i like it and so i will i will make a so my because you sacrificed and stayed up now you get to go to bed and i will uh you know do the the technical the, the wizardry you know the, you wouldn't understand it, <laughs> it doesn't involve it does, doesn't involve an excel document with some <laughs> columns and rows i mean i am i am a no, professor my, of statistics look, chris but it's, it's very complicated i'm talking about <laughs> i put in videos and you know putting oh, dragging and dropping things on the websites these are no, these are very I complex procedures no, no, i don't uh, want it that's that's i don't even understand what you're saying right now that's that's how much <laughs> That's how much I don't understand that. Yeah. No, no, thank you. Uh, th thank you for that, Chris. I know. So I know I you don't sleep because you're a vampire. Um, uh, yeah, I will do that, and uh, that will be my punishment for keeping you up. <laughs> and also, like, just just before we say bye bye, do you notice on this video that like I have a very pink face next to this white background? Yes. Like, you do. Look is pink. this from one beer? Like I've got you know a red glow now. If so, that's very really depressing. I don't know. It's or you're not I just have not so it's because you're not getting enough sun yet yeah, it maybe could be i could be i mean it could just be you're not getting enough sun you know that you're in japan you're pale. It's winter. you yeah. live in australia that's just lording it over look me. at this look like, at this I, look at this healthy glow look at this I mean, I'm basically yellow. I probably look tanning, jaundiced. Tanning beds exist in every culture, man. <laughs> <laughs> not every culture. That's we, probably not true. We, <laughs> it, Anthropologically, that's not correct. But <laughs> yeah. in Australia, we have this tan, yeah, this huge tanning bed. It's called the outside. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. The outside. Yeah. I remember that. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, all right, you go to bed. And uh, okay. but this was fun, like, I, apart from me feeling, you know, internally bad for uh, keeping you up, uh, it was it was still enjoyable. That's it was good fun. Yeah, it, it, it reminds good. me of the <laughs> there's this, this Follow Ted episode with a bad priest. You like Follow Ted, right? Like mm. the jungle yeah. priest. Who, and he, he has this line where he says, I had my fun, and that's all that matters. <laughs> 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 that's, a, that's a motto to live your life by. Um, that's a good motto. That's a good mm. motto. I, I love that show, actually. I, I, I watched it again just a few, you know, recently. I watched a few episodes, so like like a couple of weeks ago. Um, just, I, just I have time, a, so. Maybe I should go back and put in low on my Follow Ted references. But uh, anyway, mm. I'm not going to keep you up with talking nonsense about Follow Ted. So yeah. good night. Good night. Matt. Thank you. Good night. And, uh, Thank you. Speak to you soon. Speak to you soon. Bye.